Uh, now we are in a session uh, devoted to trends uh, in innovation. Now we will have Dean O'Brien, head of marketing, marketing at Date Lake. He will present a case study blockchain in healthcare. Uh, hello, everybody. I apologize in advance that I'm giving this in English. However, I know about six words of Polish, so it is much better this way, I promise. Uh, my name is Dini O'Brien. I'm the head of marketing and PR for Data Lake. Um, I've been involved with blockchain for about 10 years now uh, as a consultant and also in the privacy space. Um, I want to preface this by hopefully something that's not too blunt. 99% uh, of blockchain and crypto is absolute nonsense. And I say this as someone who's been in it for a decade now. Uh, a lot of it is downright scams. A lot of it is vaporware, things that will never happen. I'm not a huge fan of what this technology has been used for. The actual technology itself, though, is incredible. Uh, what we know as blockchain, despite some drawbacks, is an incredible development in the exchange of information, digital truth, and removing the need for trust. We as humans have a tendency to leverage progress for profit, and while that's not necessarily a bad thing, the fundamental benefits that blockchain offers humanity have been neglected in favor of, to put it nicely, speculative investment, basically a casino. Uh, one of our goals at Data Lake is to show that blockchain can offer humanity so much more, particularly in the medical field. Now, as I'm sure nobody in this room needs to be told, AI and healthcare requires large, high quality, and representative data sets. And as I'm sure many of you are aware, we have some issues around these data sets. So let's quickly take a look at some of the uh, problems of medical data. And am I supposed to use this? Thank you very much. So here's some of the issues we have with medical data right now. As you may be aware, it's often just inaccessible. Whether that's legislative or logistical roadblocks, the medical data buys that we're talking to right now have just told us we can't get our hands on medical data that we need. Another big issue is that medical data actually represents a huge financial burden to hospitals and clinics. And uh, they're already throwing money at just having to store this as, as a legal requirement. Uh, and they're hardly jumping to spend more money on data. Another big issue, as I'm sure all of you are aware, is bias and lack of representation in data sets. Without the right kind of data, you just can't do the research that you need to. I mean, a good example is that 30,000 cardi cardiological trials were suspended or delayed simply because of lack of complete and representative data sets. We're on the cusp of progress in a lot of uh, fields in, in, in the medical sphere, but we need the data. It's just not there. It is there but we'll see the, the main problem. Uh, another big issue, especially in Europe, this is not a big issue in, in some other countries such as China and even the US, but here we have no system for a donation of informed consent by people. Um, in some countries in Europe, Scandinavia in particular, 90 plus percent of people are willing to give their medical data to science, but they just don't have a system to do so. This is why I think what we're working on at Data Lake is uh, gonna revolutionize medical research. I know that's a big claim, but I, I truly believe it. And what we're looking to do is incentivize millions of people, as well as the hospitals and clinics around the world, to participate in a medical data donation scheme. And that is what Data Lake is. We are creating a worldwide medical data donation program, which enables trusted medical data flow, respects patient confidentiality, and incentivizes all stakeholders to participate. All of this is powered by the blockchain. We have on the one hand, data donors, they could be patients, they could be normal people. We're calling them data heroes because we believe what they're doing is quite heroic, similar to giving blood or becoming an organ donor. Uh, we have the hospitals and, and data providers, clinics, and then we have data receivers, and all of these people play a part in the system that we're trying to create. All of them will be incentivized. Data donors will partake in the data economy that we're building. Hospitals will be rewarded and incentivized for providing the data, despite it just being a legal obligation. And then data receivers, the researchers and other companies who need this data, will be given large anonymous data sets for their research. 
I should point out that we're EU funded. We were also invited to talks regarding the Data Governance Act with the European Commission. And in fact, I would say our existence is actually a direct response to the regulations and signals that are coming from the EU right now. We're building a brand new type of data intermediation service on a brand new market established by EU Data Governance Act. Now the question is, why blockchain? And there are some really important reasons why this, this technology is absolutely perfect for the medical field and what we're trying to do. Number one, it's an open or oracle. The blockchain is transparent, it's immutable, it cannot be changed, and it's trustless. It's a source, source of truth, verifiable by anyone at any time. Why this is important? It means that if someone has donated their data, there is no question whether they are a donor or not. And when it comes to data potentially being shared without their permission, we can point to a fully truthful, no questions asked source of data that says this person has either consented or not consented to their data. And for GDPR, this is extremely important. Additionally, the blockchain is future compatible. Uh, I have family who is working for the European Commission right now on blockchain. Um, we are going to be moving to a digital euro within the next five to 10 years. And additionally, identification is going to be happening on the blockchain. Your identity card is going to be attached to the blockchain. They're looking at self-sovereign self identities. And all of this is coming in the very near future. This is why blockchain in the medical industry should be a core part of it, because data transmittance and identification verification are important parts of what is happening in the medical field. And the EU has already told us, this is where we're headed. And finally, the blockchain is distributed, and I won't go into too much details, but basically when you're talking about critical data flow, you need it to be uh, anti-fragile and robust. And this is exactly what DLT or blockchain technology is. Why this is important is because what we're looking to do is connect as many stakeholders as possible, as many data sources and receivers to this network. We want to power as much research as possible. And so therefore, using an open and distributed technology like blockchain allows us to easily connect people to the data flow. I just want to point out we're not storing medical data records on the blockchain itself or anything like that. What we're doing specifically is taking consent and putting that through the blockchain. Another part of our program is a crypto token. Uh, it's, for me, one of the best uses possible of cryptocurrency. Rather than speculative investment, what we're doing is bringing people into the data economy for their medical data and making them part of the process. Uh, it's going to power stakeholder incentives. It could be used for healthcare services, personal wellness, wellness pretty much anything. And the really exciting part is that we can automate a lot of this through smart contracts. This means it's cost less, there's less manual actions, and we can create really, truly unique incentives based around this new medical data economy. Finally, it's international by default, and this is really important for us because we believe that to have the representative data sets that the medical uh, field needs, we need to go worldwide. Um, and therefore, it's very difficult to do it with a, with a hard currency or with other incentives. A lot of people use gift cards in some countries for incentivizing donation. Um, we believe that because of the borderless uh, aspects of cryptocurrency and, and token, this can be easily used to onboard people worldwide to donate their medical data um, in a worldwide system. Blockchain is not just the future. It's happening in healthcare right now. Um, we currently have our MVP ready of a data donation system. We've built a broad coalition of support amongst patient healthcare and institutional organizations. And, and really, it's incredible to watch when we, when we present this idea, be it to patient organizations or hospitals or, or even researchers, everyone says, we need this. We need this right now. Um, there are trials, there are lives that could be saved by having the right data right now. And that's really our main motivation. Um, we've partnered really excitingly with uh, the Polish Donate Your Data Foundation. Uh, and we are going to be very shortly securing the first data flow from hospital right here in Poland. It's one of my favorite parts of this project. Uh, I had never been to Poland before I took this job in, this, in the company, and I have been blown away by the innovation that's coming out of this country. Um, and so I'm really excited because we're starting here in Poland. It is a Warsaw-based startup. Uh, our, our CEOs, our board members are all Polish doctors, but we are 
heading out to the rest of the world, and we're doing it quickly. Um, this is, for, for me, it's so exciting. Not just that it's the fact that it's coming from Poland, but that it's about to go worldwide. And there are ways that actually you can, you can help and get involved, because I think this is truly something that humanity needs. We, we need to be able to run our AI. As you all know, we have these AIs that can do incredible things. They can find diseases before doctors can. They can find new treatments. They can find new drugs. It's incredible to see what's going to happen. But we need the data. And so I'm just throwing this out here. If anybody wants to become a data donor or spread the word about the importance of this, or if you're working for a hospital and clinic and you think this might be interesting to connect to our data flow, or you uh, need data, please come and talk to us because this is really, we are so close to launching out right now uh, and it's, it's gonna be just incredible. I, I, I promise you that. Uh, we're, we're super excited about what medical research our system is going to, going to power. And more importantly for me, uh, this is a use of blockchain that improves humanity. And there's been a lot of, for anyone who follows the news, a lot of bad news about crypto and Bitcoin and all this kind of stuff. And, and for us, that's completely aside. Um, the, the blockchain technology, the ability to trustfully exchange information between two parties, this is what we're talking about. And to be able to apply this now in the medical field, to be able to apply it to research for new cures, new treatments, new drugs, to be able to find people's diseases before doctors can and help save lives, this is to me what blockchain can do in the medical field. Um, in the, for the sake of being brief, I will leave it at that. But thank you very much for your time, and I look forward to talking to you later.